You just don't get it. Call Senator Davis and, and tell him you're sorry for being so stupid. Boy, you just don't get it. You and your crazy followers. You have been operating out of order ever since you've been in office. But ignorant folks don't understand because you got them believing that you know the process. I look. I was listening to uh, Miss Shelton and... Ernest Taylor on yesterday talking about the good job you have done. You have done absolutely nothing but call the meeting to order uh, for the county convention. And, and that's basically all you have done where well, you had to call the special meeting to uh, do the sheriff appointment. But that wouldn't even been a meeting if you hadn't uh, had to do that. That was something you had to do. But I can do anything I want to. I can contact anybody I want to. And yes, I have been a part of the Democratic Party. And served um, on the county executive committee. Have contacted him several times, along with other folk. And I know there's nothing uh, in the um, uh, in in it to be paying him to come. Uh, yes, I understand he had an expenditure of two hundred dollars, but that was some you should have did. You and your officer should have took care of the uh, appointment process. But no, you called Don Davis, had him to do all the work, and now you are getting the, you, you want to get the credit for it, but see it all come out. I talked to Don on yesterday, but I'm going to wait till he do what he said he was going to do before I post the comment, the, the conversation we had. But I am sharing it with people as I talk to them. But you are one sick, pathetic man. You need to go somewhere, sit down, and stop corrupting people and 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 uh think making people think that you know what you're doing when actually all you does is use the process against folk. Um there's so much I could say, but I'm not gonna say it. But brother, as long as I live in Edgecombe County, I will hold continue to hold people accountable that make decisions for me, my family, and others in Edgecombe County that yes have given me permission to speak for them. And so, brother, again, yes, I knew you lived, um, you, you were living over there with your son in Rocky Mount on the Nash County side because your brother told me you was over there taking care of, him, uh, of, your, of your grandson. Plus, I know some people that went to where you were staying um, um, during the time of taking this stuff to you for the uh, pro appointment process. I know a whole lot more than folk think I know. But brother, you don't need to call me. We don't have anything to talk about. And as far as um, uh, me running for office, I posted on the on, on my page that if I was um, nominated, because people were calling me asking was I running for anything, and I said, oh no. I said, but if I was uh, nominated for uh, the first, second, or third advice, I would take it. Um, 
maybe uh but uh otherwise no i did definitely want the chair position i don't seek office i have done my time i, I started out in my early 20s uh serving and i am 54 now i'm not seeking any offices i am going to voice my opinion no i didn't go to the meeting on yesterday if i had wanted to to um want it a position I would have campaigned I know how the process work I told people what they need to do that was running for the chair they need to uh, do just like the uh, uh, the sheriff apartment to call the people with votes and try to get their support I know how the process work I am not running for anything and also as far as being a delegate to the convention I don't have to be a delegate to the convention I am going it's open to all Democrats I left the meeting yesterday after the uh, uh, election of the chair position because I had a funeral in Pine Top and was almost running late. I videoed the Democratic Party meeting, videoed the funeral. I do my stuff out of pocket. I don't get paid to do what I do. So brother, don't go there with me. <laughs> I've been videoing friends for the last couple weekends and probably have one next weekend. I do what I do out of pocket. I'm not like you uh, taking money from here and there. Matter of fact, you talking about the money to done. Well, you claim that Congressman G.K. Butterfield uh, took care of the refreshments on the 23rd. And then you got in the um, minute, it's in the Treasury report that you uh, had to pay $500 to uh, Piggy Wiggy. I would have brought up a whole lot of stuff yesterday, but you know what? I said, I came to the conclusion, if, if the folk in there uh, allow you to do what you do, they like it, then I love it. Because I was not going to prolong the meeting because I had something to do. Now, you better be glad I had somewhere to go yesterday because I would have questioned um, 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 some other stuff. <laughs> hey, it ain't about me. It ain't about you. It's about the process. I know the process just because others in there do not. And some do. Some do because some of them talk about you when, when, when they're not around you, but they get in there and get stupid when meantime. So, brother, hey. I know what the deal is. I am not afraid to say what needs to be said. And most of the time I'm saying what those folk have said. But anyway, you have a good day, brother. But you don't need to talk to me. And I will be waiting to see uh, uh, the outcome of this money that you pay out. Because it made no sense. You have a good day.